wataoro wana watu wenga leo sana wangu eh wa msana anze atamoti za kutika kwa mungu suta asia karege zinodo kutambura mwana wake wo msana kwa ana mwana wake wo msana acha pindi chikoro
creation of opportunities and great fancy of adjusting the stars and powering and developing you, our young boys and girls, continues to be the priority of the Second Republic. It is indeed through your individual and collective abilities in the bread of your culture and the hard corners to work that we can lift from our country development as we accelerate the implementation of the National Development Strategy 1 for the speed attainment of our vision 2030. You, the youth, are an integral and important part of our national economic development ecosystem. Hence, it is incumbent upon you to remain focused and committed to building the Zimbabwe we want, guided by the mantra, Yinka Inorapa Lebedewa. Yinka!
with unflinching loyalty and dedication. That I share with you, Zimu Naivari Way, Kana Maivatsu Anastanabiliki. Konzi Iko Atamisa Nezuro. Kana Nikasa Wina Maelikshi Nezuro Eta Uya, Tine Ita Mere Mere, Mabamsu. Wina Wabona Kutia Ura Uti Ucha Ita Mere Mere, Tata Zile. The theme of this year's National Day, God's achieving vision 2030. But I live in the Iowa. They are like eradication of substance drug abuse for the youth. It is a reminder to the nation of the need to fight against the abuse of drugs and other harmful substances. In order to combat this, my government has put in place the Indian Ministerial Committee on Drug and Substance Abuse. All and about this, a National Drug Abuse Fund has been established in the 2022 national budget. The Azara Komana and the Sikana Mashiku Prab, Akatara Kutu, Teno, Urmende, Yachaka, Jukotsa, Eno Vasa, Kuti mana mana kita pindah mesti dapat memukul sudah. Bawa lep bawa lenda dan stasi ruang. Saya cuci baik kuai wa. Jadi kita fun. Bagi sesiapa di republik, jauh kita itu boleh. In addition, a mass sector approach has been deployed by various stakeholders towards complementing government efforts. In the fight against drug and substance abuse by our young youth. No stone will be left unturned as we start to fight to expose drug cartels that are peddling drugs such as Buka, Bronco, Blue, and Musombodia, among many other dangerous drugs such as Mutorino. Meant and okay. Ultimately, you have to use my state responsibility to fight and resist and reject drug and substance abuse. The review of the dangerous drug acts is going to be done to meet and deal with obtaining realities in tackling drug related issues. And that is going to be spread out. Sketch towards the promulgation of the Youth Act, which will let say the development and empowerment of the youth and the National Youth Service Act to promote the values of patriotism and Ubuntu among the youth. Again, that is one course. And at the Second Republic, Opportunities are being availed for the youth to participate in the country's social economic world. Recently, I was in the Midlands province, where I launched the Integrated Skills Program, together with the Presidential Alpha Scheme. Youth Integration Funds have been set aside in each province for the agriculture empowerment of our youth. I call upon young people to take advantage of the growth in the agricultural sector by locating themselves within the agroprocessing value chain. Kubaku production to Sika, Wakarapa, Tebu, Wakuya, Panaja, Kawanda, Zuleika, Pakatia, and the youth must find the opportunity to feed themselves. Your government is ready to support you and empower you. Currently, a new farming culture is being developed across all provinces to entrench 
and forever connect young people our land. We fought for our country. We fought for our land. So it is a duty upon ourselves to make our land productive. We must not shun hard work. All the countries you may admire, it is because they use their land to develop their country. So Zimbabwe is not an exception. God gave us our beautiful country, Zimbabwe, which is a gold with numerous minerals, many minerals, good agricultural land. All what is required is to help people who realize that when they sit, they are sitting upon land. When they walk, they are walking on land. When they dream, they dream on land. Our Zimbabwe, our country, our heritage. In addition, COVID programs alone and social resources are being rolled out and powered use in mining, in agriculture, manufacturing, and toys. Creative cultural industries and arts are also being promoted to grow the sector towards improving the quality of life of young people in this field. In this digital era, I also urge you to step up the use of ITC to explore and exploit business opportunities that exist across the various sectors so that we have propelled our social economic development agenda. These programs are part of a raft of my government's efforts to embrace the youth as we ensure development that leaves no one behind and no place behind. In light of these broad-based and inclusive empowerment programs, I challenge you, the youth, to be actively involved. Be, be counted. Play your part in your own country. Your opportunity created by Second Republic leaves no one behind. Whatever you aspire to do in life, the Second Republic will support you in this. Furthermore, as our economy continues shifting from recovery, our economy is shifting from recovery to growth. The anticipated increase of economic activities in all sectors will result in an improved quality of life of the general populace and young people in particular. As the youth, you will not be left behind in all the government initiatives being championed by my government. As your president and your listening president, I am impressed by social economic contributions you are making as a young people in your various small and medium enterprises. Your hustle is important and valuable to both your families and the economy as a whole. As such, my government has since recapitalized empowerment to increase resources available to young people. The permanent secretary is Jeff Whiteman, while you are Maria of Empowerment, Pera, the challenge is now yours to exploit the youth business setup program to start and grow successful business enterprises. My family is currently in the process of facilitating the provision of decent workplaces SMEs. I further call upon the creative young youth of our country 
to leverage on the finance youth centered projects and services offered by the bank to harness their dynamic productive energies, skills, and competencies. In the spirit of devolution, decentralization, the empowerment has been directed to increase its presence across the ten provinces of the country. The youth sought out tests establishing all other ministries, each ministry in a desk they use. So if you go to any ministry, you can ask the government of just name, to know the head of who know and not pass that information. On the human resources and skills development front, my administration is intensifying the implementation of education 5.0 policy, vocational education and technical entrepreneurship training. At the center of this agenda are innovation hubs and industrial parks which will prepare the modernization and industrialization of our country as well as see the local production of goods and services for our people. Under the Second Republic, all our state universities, by investing at every SA or women in our state universities, that are introduced by Anuzma Innovation Hubs, but then some lives are women, which are common in our state of the university are. And they are full of producing a good or a service. Do not think you marry your markets, I will marry you. Who is a project? Sakarakoma never did my university school. Last day alone, just last day alone, they facilitated our career all together to my university. We have been able to register, to register patents to my products or services which have been commercialized. As a result of the common arena scanner, we achieve the innovation hub to produce what is in their heads to become a reality, to become a product. We have found our first 100 patents within two years. The vocational training centers in all provinces of the country are being capacitated in line with government's vision which is science, science, technology, technology, innovation, innovation. This, this agenda is in keeping with the contemporary trends. Tati isi nyinga ino wakwa nebe nebae. Saka isi nebae, this is no sumi wa, to solve the problems which we face, and the government is there to provide you with the support. If you have any idea, any new idea, come forward. No question to the question now. Can I come on up to the question? No question, that's the one. They say, we don't find an answer. Oh, invention and echo, we don't commissionize. I'm aware of the shortage of accommodation facilities throughout our universities, polytechnical colleges and teachers' training institutions. Ah, now, my teacher. My teacher. My teacher, my teacher, I don't think I can teach you. I don't think I teach you, I don't think I can teach you, I don't think I can teach you. My government has begun implementing map from strategies to improve facilities within our higher education institutions, including facilitating the construction of walls of residences. This is a program now across all our universities. 
the Oprah Conference of our national sporting teams has revealed the clearly gaps and shortcomings of the sector. My government has put in place resources for improving the sporting sector in terms of infrastructure, corporate governance, junior policy development, the mindset and environment of sports persons.
And if 2022 must we see our nation eliminate drug and substance abuse. I must encourage the youth to use platforms such as the National Cleanup Day, which is the health Africa Safety Friday of the month, to share information towards fighting drugs and substance abuse. At government level, the Income and Ministerial Committee on Drug and Substance Abuse will leave no stone and in fighting this scourge. The unity of purpose, as well as the collective spirit, we have demonstrated in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic must be extended to extinguish the scale of drug and substance abuse. Community policing strategies must be enhanced to expose and dismantle the drug production sites, networks, and supply chains within our community, districts, walls, residential areas, and villages. Abo, Mazimaina Nabata, Kalanua Nishka. O
It's no president that will continue to talk nine young people across all sectors of the economy and not give such facilitation. On your part, I ask you to reject those who want to make our country puppets of other countries. The onus is on you, our young people, to defend, protect, and defend the independence of our great country. While the young people of yesteryear used the gun, we, in the past, we used the gun to bring about independence and sovereignty. Today, you only have to use your vote to defend our great country, our independent sovereignty. Your vote will determine our destiny, the destiny of this country, to remain in the hands of people of this country in Hakaia. Nika Ino in Hakaia Matema. You have to defend it with your vote. Therefore, use your vote wisely, conscious that this very right to vote was paid for by the grand of many young sons and daughters of our great country. Together with us, the leadership, we shall continue to build the Zimbabwe we all want. With these remarks, the youth of Zimbabwe. With these remarks, it is now my honor and privilege to wish you memorable celebration of the National Day and declare the presidential youth king after being official wrong. God bless you. God bless you. I thank you for the people of the